trust you in anything because that's such an intimate way to hurt somebody. If you can hurt me on that level, you can hurt me on any level. So that's my measure. That's my marker. And uh, you can't cheat. If, if you got to cheat, all you have to do is come home, say, you're not doing it for me anymore, husband. I'd like a divorce. I will give you a peaceful divorce. And I told her that before. And she used to say, well, if you cheat, I'm going to sew you into the bed sheets and light you on fire after I beat you with a baseball bat. That's what she said. And I should have known that with an extreme view like that, she was the one more likely to cheat. But uh, anyway, uh, maybe cheating should be allowed. Maybe relationships should be open. Post the transcripts. I don't have the transcripts typed, but uh, I definitely could. I definitely could show you where she got caught lying and uh, how the judge caught her lying. And the judge said right after that, the court is going to have some questions for Miss Bartholomew right after this sequence ends, which was her own attorney questioning her. They were like, no, 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 no. So they caught her in a lie, proved that she lied, and her excuse, well, I just got confused. Yeah, you got confused, you lying bitch. Guess who never got caught lying in court? Me, because I'm kind of a truthful guy. Yeah, I told the truth. I also had polygraph exams to back up what I said, but they weren't admissible. That's just lovely, isn't it? No female, only shoe stores. Andrew, point to your phone and tell them this is where the real world is at. Well, with KAK's flirt rap, I don't think she had much to worry about. Yeah, you're right, Barco. I didn't have uh, uh, I'm, I'm not going to hook any ladies with my... Uh, impersonation of Fabio unless unless because women do love comedy now if I happen to impersonate Fabio being at Bush Gardens in Williamsburg Virginia I think it was Williamsburg might have been Florida and getting hit in the face with a goddamn goose that was flying through the air breaking his nose now if I do that impersonation women will be at my feet there's no question about it that brings the humor and it would probably be something like this yay I'm having great fun <laughs> a, l a little something like that you know at least that's how I imagine it. I don't think they have that on. Uh, don't think they have that on, uh, on film. Uh, let, let's so that we can continue freestyle and I can be have this weight of the topic off of my shoulders. Let me uh, f share with you folks what I think you should look at when you're looking to find a reliable f uh, fact-checking site that isn't biased. Because and I'm also going to mention the ones that are biased. First of all, the traveling president. Look that one up. That's factcheck.org. A lot of shit floating around about a president burning up taxpayer dollars to travel. Like it or not, Obama has been one of the lowest amounts in 30 years to spend your money and the days he's taken in vacation. Now, if you want to go get your source from a far right extreme, yeah, they're going to say he did. But if you get to the facts, you're going to see that he's been extremely careful about this because he knew these accusations would come up. He knew it. He, he knew he was going to be under a huge microscope. So uh, I'm going to share this link with you. Now, this was written in 2011, and they had counted up days of vacation as well as presidential expenditures. I know you, some of you guys don't want to hear this. I know. I'm not trying to piss you off. I'm trying to get you to look at real facts, real facts. Obama's made his share of mistakes. I agree. The, this is not one of them. So um, let me post this real quick. And that's going to be posted in the comments section for the announcement of this show on the Facebook page. For those of you that are not fans of the Facebook page, please come and join us. You can continue conversations, add links, correct me when I'm wrong. Facebook.com slash Truth on Tap Show. That's the address. Facebook.com slash Truth on Tap Show. There you will see a link that says, come listen to me live on Spreaker. Truth is not negotiable. And then there you're going to see something from factcheck.org, which I think is a very reliable fact-checking site regarding the traveling president. I'm also going to post one related to that talking about presidential vacations. This was written uh, in, uh, I believe, August of 2014. So, again, you're not hearing the truth. You're looking at these chain mails by anonymous sources. You're getting lies. If you want to believe them, I ignore what I'm posting here because this gives you facts. And it could force you to rethink things. Closed that. Uh, PolitiFact truth -o meter who took more vacations. Let's go ahead and keep it on topic. That link is also posted. Now, I sure hope I still have the site up that talks about truth, uh, the best 
fact-checking sites. Yeah, here it is. Now, this is from PBS, and uh, Apocalypse says PBS leans left. I, I presume he's right about that. But let's look at this and ask, did they have any reason to be biased here? Because what the article title is is this. Political fact-check sites proliferate, but can they break through the muck? Uh, I think, yes, they can. I think people are starting to finally realize that we have somebody out there who's interested in separating fact from fiction regarding politics and, and more importantly, media in general. Uh, all the reporting needs to be checked. Uh, and you shouldn't have to do all the work yourself. If some organization in a capitalist society can make money from doing it through advertising, by God, they ought to start cropping up. And uh, and they are. And they are. We have news busters. That's, that's pretty far right. Media Matters, pretty far left. Uh, Factcheck.org tend to be central. PolitiFact tend to be central with a left lean. And Washington Post Fact Checker blog, again, tend to be central with a left lean, I think. That's my opinion. That's not what they're saying here. But what I would tell you to avoid is the Newsbusters one and the Media Matters one, okay? Because they're going to lean way right and, and way left, respectively. Now, if you just want to be told what you want to hear and you're far left or far right, sure, go there. They'll tell you everything you want to hear. It'll be sweet music to your ears. You don't need truth, right? You want to be told something that feels good? Go there. Uh, if you want to be told the actual truth, which may kind of force you to rethink things, factcheck.org, PolitiFact, and Washington Post Fact Checker blog. And make sure that whatever fact-checking source you use, they give adequate references because if they don't give references then they're no, no better than the anonymous chain mail you got that said obama just spent 200 million dollars on a vacation which is bullshit uh you need to know what's actually accu actually happening before you go on a tirade about it so i'm sharing this as well on the show announcement page i'm also going to go so far as to share that one inside the chat room because i think everybody needs to take a look at this find yourself a reliable fact checking site and routinely visit that sons of bitch Okay. If you disagree with the link I just shared about those fact-checking sites, tell me which ones are reliable for you. Put it on the Facebook page. And if it turns out that you've got some reliable ones up there that use good sources and everything, I will uh, commend your post and I will uh, promote it. So th this is important that we get our facts straight, people, uh, if you want truth. If you don't want truth, then what I'm saying should mean nothing to you. You're looking for feel-good stuff to serve your party, then you're going to go find the feel-good stuff. Uh, truth can be very uncomfortable. We've established that. Truth can sting. Truth can force us to find empathy in our hearts, and it can force us to dislike someone that we may have liked before. Uh, it can be really not so much fun, truth. But I find a certain value in just getting next to truth and living it and believing it. It, it just feels so much more solid because if you have a foundation that's not built on truth or it's built on half truths and some flimsy lies, it's all going to keep crashing down because you're going to find these, what the psychiatrists like to call cognitive dissonance. You're going to find disagreements in your own mind with the ideals you think you have and some of the beliefs you think you have. And people do not like being in a state of cognitive dissonance. They want agreement between their ideals and their beliefs. They need that. So they're going to make leaps in judgment uh, to make those match together. That's their form of reconciling the balance. Okay, and it's not a good way to do it. Make sure you have facts and then you don't have to worry about cognitive dissonance. Base your beliefs on the, on the facts that come from the most reputable places with the least amount of bias. I know that's difficult. It's not fun in a media-driven society like ours, but you have to eventually find a source you trust and use that and a couple of other sources just to make sure nobody's running away with it uh, and, and putting their own slant on it and make sure they list references in their fact checking. Very important. And those references can't be John Bob from uh, Trailer Park number 14. No, I, w what about John Bob? What are his qualifications? Well, why did you even ask him? Wh wh why is he a reference? These are questions you need to be asking in the back of your mind when you look at these fact checking sites. If you have any problem with the ones I mentioned, which I trust, which are factcheck.org, PolitiFact, and I don't know about Washington Post Fact Checker blog. Uh, I, can't, I can't put my stamp of approval on that because I haven't checked them out. But factcheck.org and PolitiFact, minus a slight leftward tilt that you're going to see, are pretty damn good with the fact checking. Okay? And I shared this article, so I want you to read it. If you don't agree with any of these, tell me which ones you do use. We have to have fact checking. 
And there are companies out there now doing it. I mean, I, I tend to trust someone who's funded by the Annenberg Public Policy Center, and that's factcheck.org. Now, uh, Tampa Bay Times, they're talking about St. Petersburg uh, Times here for PolitiFact. I thought it was Tampa Bay Times, but m maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I think they might have gotten that wrong. Maybe I'm right. But yeah, Media Matters is going to serve liberals. Newsbusters are going to serve conservatives. The rest of them tend to be fairly center, fairly center. Uh, yeah, so that's presidential vacations we shared. Closing this we shared. Got one thing here about true selective outrage. I talked to you earlier about false selective outrage when they tried to compare a racist white talking about blacks to a black calling another black an Uncle Tom. Not the same ball game, folks. Not even close. That's not selective outrage to get mad at one and not the other. That's a whole different novel there. Now, what John Stewart talked about when he snapped at Fox over the selective outrage on Benghazi, he showed his evidence there to show that it was an equivalent comparison. And it's very important that you watch out for what we call logical fallacies. Barco knows about these. I think most of you guys have heard of a few of them. Well, there's a good list of about 30 of them you need to be familiar with come election time and debate time so that you know you're getting accurate information. Logical fallacies, straw man attacks. You've heard them all. Um, argument from ignorance. Uh, th there are so many of them that you may be a little shocked when you first start learning about these techniques and they are techniques these are not being used passively they're being used actively and knowingly by politicians and public relations firms to put spin let me tell you something folks don't trust what somebody says about their company that they're representing in my pub public relations writing class in college and this was a uh, junior level class the first thing we had to do I want you to try to get your mind around this we were representing a, a company and we had to defend one of its employees who had been found drunk with an underage girl and uh, underage girl in a company truck during duty hours. And we had to spin it so that he sounded innocent. That was in a class for public relations writing. What do you think they're doing in the real world there? They're getting paid to make companies look good no matter how guilty they are. So be careful who you trust. Be careful who you trust. Uh, oh, HTLA Radio 1, Chris, crash, Jesus. HTLA Radio 1 out of New York. Chris and his wife do an excellent show. We base all our shows on speculation. I agree, but there is an absolute truth, uh, Chris, and I think that absolute truth is what a recording device would record if it had been here throughout history and could record every human thought, action, written word, spoken word, body language, gesture, meteorite that entered the atmosphere, all that. Uh, that's the absolute truth. We, have, we certainly haven't found that recording machine, but if we did, that would give us the reliable information from which we could uh, draw our own conclusions. Uh, I need to catch up in the chat room. Uh, you guys have to make sure to check out Chris Crash Jesus' show, HTLA1 Radio out of New York. He's the real deal. Uh, he and his wife, Kate, do shows together. They do shows separately. He's got the radio voice. He has done the investment in the equipment, and he has the back-end education in film and radio. So if you're looking for somebody to model your show after, Crash Jesus is the one you're going to want to do it from. Uh, well, my, my show's... Uh, I'll go join Alan's show. I, I didn't realize he was doing a show. Uh, we'll, we'll close this one down here, R.D. Didn't realize that. When did you post that? 2.17? Wow, we're 13 minutes in now. Sorry about that. Uh, let me try to catch up at the bottom of the chat. Sexy new site, HTLA Radio 1. Yes, uh, I have looked at your site, uh, Chris. The site is awesome. Wait till you guys see his website. I haven't seen another website like this. The way he's got, he's got like this horizontal scroll feature on it. Fucking kick ass. Very good looking site. That's uh, www.htlaradio1.com. Just like it sounds. For those of you just listening or not seeing the chat or listening on iHeart later, it's www.htlaradio1, the number one, dot com. Uh, what about Heisenberg's observer effect? What about it? Oh, you're talking about logical fallacies? Aristotle? Yeah, Aristotle's the shit. Before it's news, I liked it at one point, not anymore. Oh, before it's news, yeah. Alan Wayne... Uh, 
That's where the real world is at. Okay. All right. I think I've caught up in chat. You guys are broken up a little bit for me here. Uh, uh, Chris says they, they picked up Timmy's as a...